Hello, this is Seamus, N7MYW. Usually I use the YouTube channel for some ham radio related reviews and viewpoints and uh, share what I really love about the hobby. But I do have a few other hobbies that I occasionally will, will shoot videos for here. And astronomy is one of them. Now, I'm, still pretty, I'm still pretty much uh, the, the low beginning amateur when it comes to astronomy, even though I've been doing this on and off for most of my life. but. Astronomy is an absolute joy, and not too long back, a couple, three, four years ago, I picked up a, a five-inch Newtonian reflector telescope from uh, Astronomers Without Borders, which I really, really love. I have a brand new eyepiece for it, which I will review later, but I also ordered a pair of Celestron Skymaster astronomical binoculars. These are uh, 25 by 70, and I thought I would... Uh, show what these look like. It's kind of a mini review. I got the chance to use them last night for a couple of hours outside while scanning the, the heavens and really really enjoy these. Um, but just to kind of give you an idea as to what these look like. Now Celestron has these for a really really great price. Um, with, uh, with the shipping and everything I was able to, to get these for $125. Um, there are some things that I, I have to say I don't necessarily care for. I can't, I don't know why they continue to do this and make these individual eye covers. Uh, individuals would have been so much easier because these fall off half the time. But, nonetheless, still, that's just the way it is. But these binoculars weigh a little over three pounds. Um, they are, like I said, they are a, a 25 by 70. Now the field of view is a little bit different. Uh, my my other binoculars, I have a pair of 10 by 50 Minoltas that give a, a little bit more light because, of course, they're only 10 by 50s. The magnification is going to cut down your, your depth of field and uh, they're the wide angleness of, of these binoculars. But otherwise, you are getting a pair of binoculars that is able to scan the skies and see things a little bit farther away. And uh, same with terrestrial viewing. Um, really, really simple. Um, pair of binoculars to use. Of course, this is the uh, the donut in the middle for your focusing, focus in between. And of course, you have the standard the standard focus on the on the one side for one eyepiece on the right side. But I would I would probably rate these as uh, at a scale of 1 to 10. I'd probably give them about a 7.5 to 8. Uh, I think that they uh, they do their job admirably. They give you the, of course, the uh, the eye cups, uh, the, the the eye cup holders or covers, and then of course the the covers for the bottom lenses, and this uh, nice bag, which is kind of kind of thin and flimsy. It doesn't have pockets or anything, unfortunately, but uh, it does it does provide a, a little bit of a case for them. Eventually, I'm going to purchase an Apache plastic carry case for uh, for this and for some of the other accessories but now these binoculars you'll you'll want to you'll want to have a, a tripod with them uh, for extended viewing they are okay to use for uh, let's say for people who have good good arm muscles uh, 5 10 15 minutes maybe but eventually you're going to find that you're going to have a lot of vibration and shake and they're going to get heavy and your arms are going to get tired so you're going to want to use a, a tripod. Now you can uh, do a couple of things when it comes to using a tripod. But one of the things that uh, you'll want to do, now they do provide, this particular model provided a, uh, an adapter, which allows you to convert your tripod to holding a pair of binoculars. But I have to say that the, the small little thin metal, it was plastic and metal, um, uh, adapter they give you is not very good. So what I did was I splurged and spent a little bit more money for one made of made of metal. Now this one here I've had for quite a while and it just uh, twists right onto the to the part of the to twists right here to the uh, stem threads right inside here. This pulls off and then you put the the adapter on there and then attach that to your tripod. And there are various models you can get of these that rate anywhere from five dollars to ten dollars. So some of them uh, some of them hold very very well and they're they're not very expensive but they're essential. This particular model 
uh, came to me from Amazon. I got it in a day. It's really, really a good bargain. I highly, I highly recommend it. Now they do also make a 15 by 70, which might work a little bit better for some people that don't necessarily need as much magnification. Your eyes are the best telescope we have. A pair of binoculars you're going to see sometimes more than you'll ever see with a telescope because you're able to process more with your eyes and your brain. Anyway, this, uh, this particular pair of binoculars will get used a lot over the next year. Uh, I'll try to do a little bit more next time, but just wanted to give a small review about, uh, about these binoculars. Thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this, and if you do uh, enjoy it, my other videos, give a thumbs up and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you next time.